Hello. Hello. Are you there? Ah, you are. So guys. Okay. Who's pulling who's pulling the strings? And I always saw this marionette here as something that is being controlled by something pulling the strings. But today I like to see it differently. Today I am in the mood of thinking in another way. It's quite obvious who is pulling the strings. It's the marionette. That little doll there, you see it in your face. Most often if you search for marionette on, on Google, you're going to see Pinocchio. Pinocchio with threads, that's what pops up. And in my opinion, the reason for this is because Pinocchio is pulling the strings with his arms and his legs. Interesting that there's a crucifix there above also. There's always a crucifix up there. So Pinocchio means pineal eye, occhio. This is official, official information. This is fact. Oh no, the fact is the same as as this absurdity that I'm talking about. What's happening to the world? Pinocchio means pine eye. Occhio is Latin for eye. Pinocchio comes from Italy, if I understand, and Italian is very similar to Latin. So that's why it's like that. Why is Pinocchio pulling, pulling the strings? Well, because he is the Panil. The Panil is pulling the strings. Oh, that evil eye. What does evil and truth... Uh, evil... <laughs> what does evil and good have in common? And I was thinking about it also. I was seeing these two um, uh, sets of, uh, with a cross section. One side is good, one side is evil, and the cross section between them, the unity between them is truth. The truth, they have truth in common. So, yeah, the, 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 the panel, the, the, the the pineal gland, you know. So, and I've been talking about, you see, the king, the king's jester, and the jester itself has another little jester there, a little homunculus. Why does the king have a jester? Well, it's the material, fractal, self-similarity of the spiritual king. Uh, the inverted king. You have the material temple, the uh, inverted material temple, which is the inner temple. And you have humans walking in nature, animals looking at them, animals just seeing clowns everywhere. The animal look at us, they laugh, 
what a jester this animal call, calls us maybe. We have red, red clothes, blue clothes, yellow clothes, screaming colors of, of uh, when we walk in nature, we have these clothes on us because we look like clowns, but you know, there are a few things that we understand better than animals. In the same way, we see the jester, the fool, as something beneath us. That's the normal, the normalcy, the jester. But it's just the fact that it's alien. And the king, the king had a jester, which could actually speak to the king and tell him bad news. The jester had a job to tell the bad news to the king. To be honest, it's the truth. And there is this holy alliance almost between the jester and the king. In the same way that, as I like to say sometimes, that God is a clown because it is something alien to us. It is outside normalcy so it looks like a clown it's some it's one way that i see it it's a clown and so the king must have a jester just like the spiritual king has god the the material king has a jester and there's a fractal self similarity where the jester himself has a jester the marionette, representative of the Caduceus. He has his Caduceus of the miniature jester who is in control. The jester is wise, it has wisdom, it has has um, it has this relationship to the to the caduceus of course the inner the inner magical wand and so the king must be followed by his jester not only to please him or to to um, entertain but to teach so who is really pulling the strings so the marionette is the caduceus of the clown or homunculi, homunculi. That's the conclusion of this. And um, I believe that uh, wasn't it. What's his name? Thoth. Thoth, or um, uh, yeah, this guy writing the emerald tablet. He has this. Caduceus, because it is it is Horus, it is the representative of Horus, it's the representative of Jesus being the, the scapegoat, something to blame. We, we don't understand the jester from a normal position, we just, from the normie, the eyes of the blind, you see a clown, but from the eyes of the king, you see a... a a wise man, right? So, as I said, it I believe it to be a, um, a, a fractal self similarity of the spiritual king being in an oath with God. And God is represented by the clown. And so the material king must have, must have his jester. 
and he must even give away the kingdoms kingdoms the like the judgment of the kingdom to the clown sometimes okay guys see you another day don't forget the other channel don't forget the other channel I, i'll leave a link to it it's good stuff oh it's too big again i made it i made a vote some time ago there's a shadow number here of many people thinking it's too many videos there's another channel uh, half of the videos are on this other channel from now on so that's it this music is called um, it's called you're going to love our defeatist attitude <laughs> that's that's a really bad title but i like the song so you're 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 going to love our our de defeatist attitude is the is the is the name of this song that that i played now it's another one but see you guys another time there's another another channel if you like my videos go there or whatever uh, you're going to miss my stuff miss miss out on the stuff um, there's a significant part of people that cannot understand my videos and that's why I have a very low amount of likes I have a very low amount of comments or, and followers because people don't understand what I do and uh, I they cannot see it if you can see it welcome to the other channel um, I maybe will be more uh, whatever guys let's end the video